What is up guys, hope you're doing well out there. My name is David, we have lots of new subscribers, so welcome to the channel, thanks for the support, I really appreciate every single one of you. I also appreciate your comments, I'm always trying to respond to them. And yes, let's grow this channel together. Let me know down in the comments what kind of videos you wanna see, what kind of reviews you want me to do and stuff like that. To me, it's a journey for all of us together. We're growing the channel together, we're evolving style-wise, we're going in different directions, different interests and whatnot. So yeah, but today I wanna to talk about Nick Fouquet. Nick Fouquet. Today I wanna to talk about Nick Fouquet because I finally have a Nick Fouquet hat. I first learned about Nick Fouquet back in like 2016, 2017. I remember there was a Bloomberg video on YouTube about this weird guy who is burning hats. I'll link the video down below, it's kind of cool. And that was the, my introduction to Nick Fouquet. That was my introduction to Nick Fouquet. And back then I thought, oh, I really would love a hat from him because he's like this hat maker to the stars, I guess, right <laughs> now. But back in the days, you know, he used to do like custom hats for people who walked into his store, right, which is kind of cool. And I've always loved like the personal touch in products, right? As you know, I'm not a fan of like mass produced stuff. I really like the personal touch of the person like who creates the product, right? And with this hat or with ha hats in general, I think, well, most hats actually, like there's a hat maker behind it, right? And as you know, guys, like with, with my own brand, Skinosh, right? That's something I've tried to do as well, like to put my heart and soul into the product. By the way, I just finished a new belt. All right, this is a one of one belt actually. So maybe let's start off with the, the buckle is 925 silver, right? 65 grams of sterling silver. And then we have this leopard, so it's a double buckle belt, right? And for this, I decided like not to do a separate belt at the bottom, but just have this thing dongle down here, right? So when you have a shirt, it looks kind of like Thong goes down and yeah, has this leopard print kind of like rock star vibes, I guess. C kind of a fun experiment. That's a cool thing. Like when you have like a studio and do this kind of things, you can just experiment with stuff, right? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but you can still like when you're bored, you just do a belt or whatever. It took me a week though, right? <laughs> so, because you have to hand stitch the whole belt basically because it's two layers, right? And on the inside it's culata. On the outside, it's the uh, leopard printed leather. But yeah, anyway, I'm digressing. So what I love about Nick Fouquet is the personal touch, right? And the vision that he has for the brand. And he's like, to my knowledge, he's the only one who is producing the hats, right? There is no, nobody who's working at the shop. That might have changed by now, I'm not sure. But yeah, he kind of like has gotten famous over the years. Right? Not necessarily like ultra famous, but if you check his Instagram, he has like lots of followers. I'll link it down below. I'll also link down the, the Bloomberg video. Over the years, he has made hats for like lots of famous people. I, I'm not even trying to like list all the names. You can just browse through his Instagram. But then also like lots of like articles in like newspapers and stuff like that. So his, his brand has become like kind of big, but I feel like I'm more like a loyal follower over the years, right? Because I started like following him back in the good old days. And I've never had the chance of owning a hat from him because they're all so expensive and like elusive, right? Impossible to get in Europe, right? Over the years because he's based in Venice and you could obviously buy it from the US, but then with like, like retail was so high and then like shipping and then, and then customs taxes and stuff like that, that would be like insane. And back in the days, I didn't have that much money either. So I never had a chance of owning one. And I, and now thanks to Grail, I've had the chance to buy one. The seller was in Paris. So I didn't even have to pay custom taxes, which is pretty awesome. And yeah, this is what the hat looks like. So it's beaver felt. And then this beautiful like bandana wrapped around and like different bands and different materials and then as you can see here has this stitching on has a stitching here on one side and the custom trademark of Nick Fouquet which is the match here and to my knowledge like 
because the, the Bloomberg video, right, that I was talking about earlier is basically called like the man who burns his hats or something like that. And in this video, it basically showed the process of, of Nick Fouquet, right? And what he was basically doing was he was creating the hat, forming it and putting it on the band and all that stuff. And then he was burning the whole hat, right? Only for a couple of seconds though, to distress it. And it was kind of a unique approach. And that has kind of become his like trademark now, right? With the, the match that is attached here. Kind of a cool detail and personal touch. I mean, I have a lot of hats, as you probably know, and I have to say like the level of detail and the level of quality in Nick Fouquet hats is really, really hard to match. Not sure how well that comes across on camera here, but if you look on the inside, you have this silk interior with a Nick Fouquet print and then the leather band here. And yeah, lots of, lots of details. in my opinion a hat is one of the best investments you can make because it it's such a personal thing right it's much more personal than like shoes or any other clothing pieces in my opinion it feels like this will stay with you forever hopefully it does and yeah I don't know it's kind of like a thing not necessarily for like older men right but when you age a bit and get more like wise or whatever you know like you don't usually see like teenagers wearing a hat you know what I mean I don't know let me know that in the comments is that a bullshit excuse that I made for spending lots of money on a hat or is it kind of a cool thing also really cool is the packaging right I always look for packaging on like artisanal brands because obviously I'm thinking about my packaging as well so this is like a very thin cotton round bag, has a Nick Fouquet print, and then has this bandana sewn it onto it on both sides, different bandanas, and then has this like sling, so you can carry your hat. Kind of a cool detail, probably not expensive to make, but it looks like a human being did this, so kind of cool. And yeah, nowadays it's relatively easy to buy a Nick Fouquet hat, because he's listed in a couple of shops, right? And you just have to browse Farfetch and you can see like many different models. He also has an online shop on his website as well. So it's relatively easy, but you have to spend a lot of money. There are a couple listed on Grail, like four, five, six hats maybe. My personal preference is always like to try on a hat, right? When you have the chance, obviously when the price is so good and you're buying used, uh, then you should know your size, obviously. So one approach, because lots of people ask me like, how do you know your hat size? And I always reply with the same strategy right or the same trick you've probably wo have worn a new era hat like a baseball hat before and you probably know your size right so my size for example is 738 which basically translates to 59 centimeters and that's the size that i went for with a hat fits perfectly so that's a little neat trick if you want to know your hat size before yeah as i said like back in the days it was really hard to get a nick for k hat you could like order it directly from him. He didn't even have an online shop, so you would have to like send an email or whatever. And these days, I've been following him on Instagram for a while now, and he's regularly going to Paris Fashion Week as well, right? To sh show his new collection. So he's listed in stores in Europe. There's even a store in, in Munich that ha has his stuff. I'll link that store down below as well. It's called Enstation Gallery. So yeah, pretty cool and much more availability now. It, it's not as rare as it used to be. And he's also like expanded his collection right to like baseball hats and even like bags and stuff but yeah i prefer like his traditional hats because he also has like a very like creative approach i don't know it's like the whole mentality or vibes behind the brand right he's obviously based in venice right so he has like this surfer skater kind of look he's always like relaxed and smiling and his dad is a model or used to be a model i'm not sure so all the vibes are born like super relaxed and enjoying life and whatnot so that obviously plays a big role in the brand's image as well right so to me owning a nick Fouquet hat is something for a lifetime and when you browse through his instagram you can see that there are lots of different styles right he has women's pieces as well as men's pieces but then like very traditional like cowboy vibes or rockstar kind of vibes 
and then you have some more like chic sort of hats. So I think there's a hat for everybody here, right? It's obviously a thing, a piece that you buy once and then keep forever. I don't view the hats as like a seasonal kind of accessory, like a fashion accessory, right? Especially at this price point and hats in general should be more like a lifetime kind of thing, right? And that's how I view my bags, for example, as well, right? If you buy a Skinosh bag, you will own the piece for your lifetime. I view like the approach to Skinosh bags as like your loyal companion, where right? you always have the bag with you. And at the end of your life, if the bag could talk, you know, you could tell like all the stories of your life and that kind of approach. And it will last forever and it will age beautifully and it will become more beautiful over time and it will become part of your personality and stuff like that. So, by the way, I'll link Skinosh down below if you're interested. But a hat is basically the same thing to me, right? It becomes part of your personality and you experience stuff in your life while wearing the hat. And so it kind of like becomes like sort of like part of yourself. I'm not sure if my emotional connections to pieces is too much. Please let me know down in the comments if that's a weird thing. That's also part of like why I started this channel, right? Because to me, like clothing and fashion, stuff like that is much more than just a piece of fabric and that's i'm hoping that i can like convey that via my videos but yeah i'm rambling guys thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel i'm releasing new videos every sunday right 6 p.m german time and sometimes wednesdays as well i have a couple of cool videos lined up so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one cheers